Hello everybody, it's Andre Willowigi Big Mac and welcome back to Psychonauts! Last time... Well, this shit happened. Also, we sadly got through the, uh... The, uh, the, what do you call it? The Milkman Conspiracy. So, if you guys missed the, uh, the amazing cutscene, uh... I suggest you guys go back and, uh, watch that. Uh, anyway, now we're in, uh... In Gloria's, uh, area. Uh, I believe it's, it was just simply called Gloria's Theater. Um, I'm just gonna just hop into the audience here to collect all these because seeing all these pigments here is is pissing me off. And I think this is the last mental cobweb. Nope. Ah. This is, this is also going to one up here. Because we got our ammo up now. And then we got two figments here that are hard to get. Oh, there's a mental cobweb here. There we go. Might as well do that. Anyway. Anyway. Luckily, if I if I call correctly, we are almost done this uh, uh, this area because we just have to bonk this again. And these assholes again. Anyway, and now we have these guys to deal with again. Die. 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 Then time for me to do this. Goodbye, hack at the home. Hey, I, I think this is the one with the Hey props, is that hot air balloon still working? Let's hustle, people. It's showtime. That means you two kids. You gotta hustle onto that balloon if you wanna get up to the catwalks. And action. Oh god. Whatever is wrong?
And up. Oh, oh, geez. Here they come again. Now that they're gone, time for some acrobatics that we're known for. And then we just... No! There we go. And just like that, we are heading up to the catwalks now to deal with this phantom figure. There we go. Up, oh, I hear him. Okay, it's probably advised that you have invisibility here. Because then he won't, then the spotlight will not detect you. You are not welcome here. Once you have the momentum, you just kind of just keep pressing A on all that. I'll do whatever the fuck I want, Mr. Phantom, sir. What's this guy doing up here? Okay, let me just turn invisible real quick. Dickhead. No, you don't. No, you do not. Fallen Star. This hat box needs a hat box. That's one way to get rid of all these enemies, by the way. Anyway, we can just go up here. And then we got... Oh, God, that guy. Yeah, I think I'm not going that way. Here, real quick. Come no closer, or it will be the last thing you do. I am the Phantom.
Hmm. I think I actually do have to go that way. Shit. I see you down there. Good camera angle. Good fucking camera angle. Yeah, they're not worth fighting. Those life. Give me your life story. Ah, jeez. Okay. Ignoring him because I don't want to deal with him. Jeez, we I have to fight this guy eventually. How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Phantom? Stop, or your next step will be your last. Well, let's see. Let us use clairvoyance on uh this guy real quick. Huh. One and a half stars. That is very interesting. Do you guys remember the last episode who had the, uh, the one and a half stars, uh, clairvoyance? Jasper the Critic. Hmm, I wonder what the, I wonder what this could mean. so I can come punch and unmask you. Now, I just have to figure out how to get over there. Hmm. Maybe I should boing. There we go. This seems pretty easy. And then... Okay, Phantom. It's time to find out who you really are. What? Yep. Yo, Sam. I totally guessed that. Uh uh You said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never... How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years. Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and thin. He could never be you. Why you? Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> I like I like how he rolls his sword. Say this and still sound cool. Sex and stones, stones may break, break my bones, bones but, but words will never ever hurt me. me. And here comes my least favorite boss fight in the game. Well, how about these? <laughs> Do 
So, anyways. The Great Balls fight. Kind of a, kind of a bitch to fight, by the way. All has to do with the fact. So, first thing first, you're going to need to grab those candles. So, also, watch, watch out for his, uh, watch out, he slings, uh, insults at you. And here's the worst part of the boss fight. Having to, having to avoid all the critics, uh, Oh, come on! And here's the other shitty part about the boss fight. And that's the other shitty part about the boss fight. The, there are just too many enemies. Or like, a lot... So the enemies in this stage are very annoying. He spawns them in. So, eventually, eventually those... Eventually those spinning guys will show up. Not very fun. And the fire dogs are probably the most annoying enemy in this. Wait, please, please tell me that was... I, okay, I love, I love camera angles like this. Pretty good game, pretty good camera angle. Thanks. There we go. Ah, I'll be able to sneak behind him and just beat him up. What's the matter? Can't you take a little criticism? Stop, stop over dramatizing it and die already. Oh, <sighs> worst boss fight in the entire game, IMO. <laughs> I forgot the director just, just, just. Backhands Raz by accident. You better listen to me. You're no good. This place stinks. It's worse than ever before. Oh, I can't believe you call this theater. I, I can't even see it from down here, but I know it's bad. Can you hear me? Oh, you've got fat arms, you hear me? Big fat arms like a wrestler. And a little tacky double hanging from your neck. Uh, your knees are ugly, and you snort when you laugh. 
I like he keeps getting. Sh he keeps he keeps uh, shrinking and shrinking. Handsome, the spotlight is all yours. I believe I shall happily retire while I'm still young. Finally, recognition for my acting talents. Yep. So now now we go uh, talk to Gloria here. What are you doing out here for? I can't remember the last time I came out here at night. It's so beautiful, isn't it? These plants could use a little water, though. Now, where's that hose? Oop, let me uh, re-equip uh, levitation real quick. Anyway, we got the claw now, so now we can actually get to the uh, rest of the uh, asylum here. Attack! No, wait! Don't listen to him! Retreat! Shut up, you fool! The battle is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory. Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't be won. We're gonna lose it. I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? <laughs> oh, now, see? You've disrupted Mr. Tagley's ugly's art therapy session. Ha <laughs> ha! de gloire est arrivé! Whatever. Anyway, so this guy. Are you all working against me? Excuse me, sir. My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Bonaparte. Shh. I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. You'll have to excuse me. I'm busy losing a battle with my sanity here. For France. It, so, we so we, so we got, so we got a guy. Uh. On the brink of insanity. Good to know. Another side card. Uh, oh, hold on. We might as well re-equip uh, invisibility here, so we can. Okay. Uh, everybody who's still so we can get this brain. Alrighty then. We got another one here. Chaps. What is up, eh? Yeah, again, I don't know why Kiss is all the uh All right, let's talk to this guy Greetings, first. Doctor Lobotta. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? One moment. You're not Doctor Lobotta. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor. Anywhere. This is another good He's scene, got by the way. Stone cold face, a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock, covered in thick straps like an electric chair, and in the place where his hands should be. There's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Lobotta. You don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. Let's take it to the shuttle, it just, boys. It's just, it's just the stone cold, stone cold delivery of that line here. Of, of that line there. Anyway, there's one more... There's one more guy we can talk to up here. Also, there's another bring over there. I'll worry about that later. is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lovato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? huh? Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The matador! The 
fool! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go. Ah! That is why I am here, chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. Yeah, Ed Edgar, Edgar is... You know, now, now this is an insane asylum. Edgar is, is actually one of the few people who, who's actually sane here. You got, you got to love Edgar. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of his stage. I like the art style of his stage, but uh, it's not, it's not really, it's not really uh, my favorite for a number of reasons. But anyway, let's collect brains here. All right, I believe that's all of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of them you can get hit in this uh, area. Yeah. yeah. Maybe in between episodes, I'll probably check and see if there's anything I missed. Because if it's anything I'm going to be collecting everything of, or like the, the whole entirety of, it's the brains because they are health. And believe me, you're going to need it for that final level. Anyway... I think I want to do Edgar's first because I'm not, like I said, I'm not really a big fan of his stage. Hmm. What is this? Are you working on an abstract piece? Nice use of color. Uh, like. Now, as I stated, as soon as we get here, I am a big fan of the art style here. I really like the art style, but I just don't like the main gimmick of the stage. That's an impressive house of cards you're building there. And still, not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful, perfect, and sad. All day she cries rose petal tears. And I can do nothing to help her, because my creation lacks something, and it will not stand against the bull. What bull? El Odio. And here he comes. Yeah. Hey, he has a beard. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any cards you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. Uh <gasps> and here we here we come. Anyway, here we are. Enjoy your new path. And this nice. is okay. Now I can get Edgar's cards. Now, okay, th now that's one main. Okay, that's one game I can actually really like putting the paintings on, but everything else about it I just dislike. Let's see. Now the other thing is that these things do cost some stuff. Enjoy your new art there. Well, see ya. Keep off the street now. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. 
Yeah, so here's the main gimmick. Having to avoid Odio, who will he'll basically run by every he'll run by every so often. There we go. Now we're up here. Now the gimmick here, or now the now the trick here. You use levitation and just every so often run to the other side. Oh, I probably should have brought the brains back to uh, Fort. Oh well. Gotta love that, uh, side blast upgrade. In fact, this is one of the only worlds that really changes Raz's, uh, style as well. But anyway, here's our first card, and we have to go after it. So, why don't we? Introducing, fresh from the Thriller in Manila, Iowa, Tiger! Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty night. I am awake. Good, because it is bedtime for you, snake size. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my card, yes? Well, I am looking for some cards. Then, small fry, I am afraid the Sandman is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty bitty. And then. Alright, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. So, already. I will shut up, but only so I can enjoy the microscopic spectacle of your attempts to make me shut up. Anyway, so here's the gimmick about the about the uh, wrestlers. You can't shoot them. So, so, so the easy trick here is to constantly ground pound them. And be careful about their grab, because they, unlike unlike most fighting games, uh, they don't delete half your health, but they definitely hurt. Ooh, actually, hold on. I have a, I have a good idea. You are so tiny. I cannot even see you anymore. Alrighty then. Let's try some other tricks. Ooh, can we set him on fire? Ah, uh, yes, we can. Alrighty then. That's good to know. Also, he does he does the Bobby Soch dance uh, when, when you win. Sleep tight, kitty. And we got a queen card, which is what we need. So that's good.
Oop, didn't mean to go back through. Exactly the card I need. So we got one out of four cards. And that solidifies that spot. Thanks, Odio, for destroying that. I fucking love you. I need the first tag here. Yeah. I won't I probably would not be getting emotional baggage for this stage specifically. Anyways, now that we also have this now, we can we now have technically we can now continue from where we are. This is easily the best way on uh, doing this. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Ah, you gotta be joking. That's horse shit. And the game knows it. Yeah, let's do it from here then. Go for the next cycle. Now. Uh, excuse me? There we go. God. No reason for that to happen, at the very least. Anyway, here's a good, here's a nice checkpoint to be in. Also, boop. Give me, give me all that health back, please. Anyway, uh, we're also gonna need this. Hell, before I'm swine. Oh, thank God, I felt like I was being looted. And the next card is also, also happens to be right here too. Hmm. Now, which one of my black velvet paintings would work like? So the guitar here is probably your best bet. Because you get to go up here. And then you have the mental cobwebs here, so. So that's my reasoning. But anyway, we have another card to grab, so let's go in here and beat up the guy here. You know, is this supposed to be a dragon or something? Introducing! Fresh from an astonishing victory at the Killings and Billings! Dragon! Yep, it's a dragon! Well, at least we got an exc exclamation. Yeah, honestly, I think fire isn't worth it. I think I think the best bet here is to use the invisibility.
bonk. Okay, good to know. I can't attack during that. Unless that kid can fly, he'll never be the dragon roar. Yeah, that's that's the announcer giving the hand on how to beat the dragon roar. Doesn't matter, we win. Dragging your ass out of here. Hey, are you late? Did you hear that? That was actually a pretty good one liner there. Dragging your ass out of here. We can skip because the dialogue is the same. Now, now we have more t of those cards. Boy, I must have those queens. Anyway, time to go through there. Wait, the mental cop uh the mental cobweb duster for now. move over here and then we have the next oh this guy this guy's really funny trust me on this one introducing back from a crushing victory and someone might lose a tooth in Duluth Eagle. e eagle's really funny watch he <laughs> He even walks like like a bird. That's it. This guy's funny. Yeah, visibility probably seems like the best one to use. Nope, see ya. I'm gone. Ow. 
How does that even work? There we go. And with that, let me just give this card to Edgar. one was a real pain in the butt to get. Perfect. One step closer. Oh, different dialogue this time. Cool. Please, boy. I must have those queens. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed the, uh, the content I'm doing, Please consider subscribing as I as I'll really appreciate it. And with that with that being said, uh, like comment subscribe. I, I already said mentioned that part. I don't know why I'm saying it again. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we're most likely going to be finishing up and helping out that uh that Bonabard guy. Until then, bye bye. <laughs>